Hello, my name is Rick Moore. I'm the project manager with Fox Plumbing. Today we're here in the training room at Fox Plumbing and we're going to go over some basic safety equipment to, to keep you as a consumer safe. One of the things I'm going to go over first, what I'm holding here in my hand is called a double check valve. Now what this is used for is for say you have an irrigation system. This is to, to separate your drinking water from the water that's going to uh, use to fertilize your lawn. So what, it hap what happens in here is the principle for this is to let water in but not to let anything back into your potable system. Okay, these things right here also need to have uh, test ports on them. So these have to be serviced once a year. Okay, this is extremely important. This is for your safety. Okay, like we're talking about with this double check valve, these are used outside of the home. Okay, and like I said, applications for such as an irrigation system. Now, what I have right here is called an RP device. It stands for reduced principle. Now, you've probably come across these a bunch of times and didn't even know. Every time you go to, say, a fast food restaurant, you get a drink. These are placed on soda fountains to separate the water from getting contaminated. What, what this is, these are used in, for boiler systems, for... Um, heating systems in the home to keep the, the water that's heated separate from your potable drinking water. Once again, these also have test ports that have to be tested yearly. It has a relief drain here on the bottom which goes to a drain. These are used inside homes and also in commercial applications. RP. Now, something we have here, this is a spring check valve. These are also used for your safety to separate the potable water if you have in your home a recirculating system um, to get water, it, you know when you're way at the end of the house and the water heater's all the way at the other end and you have a recirculating pump, okay? This is what keeps the water from going back into uh, the cold water, okay? This is placed at the hot water heater or anywhere in the line to separate the water from your, your heating water from your potable water. This is called a spring check. You can't really see it if you look through it, but the way these work, they have a little flow arrow on here. It lets water out, and then once it's stopped, it doesn't allow anything to get back through into the potable. You can see here, it's the same principle, but this is called a swing check valve. Okay, these are solid brass, and all that is a very basic design. Once again, there's an arrow on here, it's plumber proof. <laughs> You know, sometimes the manufacturer makes a mistake. You always got to check to make sure that arrow actually is the way it's supposed to be. If you look inside of here, you can see all this in here is a little flap. Water goes in one way. Once it's done, flap closes. does not let any contaminants back into your potable system. Once again, a safety valve. Spring check, swing check. Okay. Um, now, what we have here. All you guys probably recognize what this is. This is known as a frost-free hose bib. All right, these are the spigots outside of your house that the hose attaches to. They come in different lengths. This is a six inch from here to here is the shaft. Now the reason they call this frost-free is because the thing that shuts off is right here, okay? Instead of shutting off here where the elements could, could uh, freeze the washer when you have those little cones on the outside, this shuts off inside of the house. Okay, here's the shut off right here. Now, most of these, the same principle, this is called a vacuum breaker. These screw onto here. Hose goes on. It lets water out, not back in. A lot of these come with them built onto it. We don't like to use those because they fail. When this fails, you can screw it off, screw a new one on. You don't have to replace the whole faucet. A lot of times this entails opening up sheetrock inside your home. So, why do you need one of these? Okay, these are called a vacuum breaker, quick release. This is a regular one. So what happens right here is, say for instance you have a pond in your front yard or a kid's swimming pool. Hasn't been used in a long time. You leave a hose attached from here to here. Okay, now say your neighbor's house or something catches on fire and they have to use the fire hydrant to turn it on. A lot of times that water can be siphoned out through that main system back through the hose and into your potable system. Okay, Without this, 
If this was left on, the water could be sucked back through into your house. Once again, this lets water out, not back in. Vacuum breaker. Same principle with this. These are, this is also a check valve. We use these on sewers. Uh, if you have a sewer pump, okay, everything would go into a basin. Water goes down into the basin and then pumps it out through a valve. And you can see in here, there's also a check valve. Okay, let's sewage out, not back into the house. You also need these when you service the pumps. If you have a pump that goes up that's full of sewage and you got to take it apart, you need this to hold. Okay. This is also the same principle used for a sewage pump. These are called check valves. Same principle. They have an arrow on here. It allows flow one way. Very important that whoever's installing it, make sure that they didn't mess up at the factory and that the flow does go the way it's designed on the arrow. So, like I said, what we have here, these are basic devices that you probably have in your home and don't even know you have in your home and they're for your safety.